Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, the Creative Agile IT. So in today's video, I'm going to share uh, a specific feature in Jira, uh, which is called the list view. What's the uses of it and how we can utilize this particular feature, how we can use the list view in our navigation when we are working on any Jira project. So I'm sharing one of my sample Jira project. As you can see, this is a Scrum based, uh, a company managed project. We have used Scrum as a process. It is named as a Scrum test. And if I can show you the backlog from the left navigation, I have simply clicked on the backlog. And uh, this is how it is uh, showing. Like we have three sprints. One of the sprint is active sprint, which is started on 22nd of July, uh, 2024. It will end in one week on 26th of July. It consists of three user stories. Then we have uh, two planned sprint, sprint two. And then we also have uh, a sprint three as well. And then we have a product backlog. So these are and this is how it is structured. It consists of you know some items, some product backlog, and some of the work which is planned within the sprints. Now, as you guys can see, where we can find the list view. So this is how we can find it. So this is our list view. So if I simply uh, click on a new tab, so this is my list view. Okay, so what it does is it provides a snapshot of what all issues are there uh, in the project. So basically kind of list of all the issues that has been created as part of the project. And we can expand this one. We can simply click on this one. So it gives a expanded view. So as we can see, this is kind of a default listing as part of you know my sample project. And uh, it gives me very first two epics, application design, and the another epic is the user management. And I can also expand this one. So if I expand the very first application design so it will show okay what all this epic consists of it, this epic consists of three user stories and i can also create a you know a, a new story from here let's say the application design uh, also require one more uh, kind of a story let's call it uh, uh, maybe enabler on test approach and i can simply click on the create so uh, we can see that you know this issue is from 26 has been created and uh, this is already listed here as part of this epic so this is also a very important thing you know once we are viewing all the hierarchy within our project using the listing view we can also utilize the the creation of our new issues or the child issues and uh, like we can say you know this is the on the top we have epic and this are our user story if you want to create a subtask under a user story we can also do that so if i expand this one so this is our ui design approach and this ui design approach consists of one task and if i want to create another task we can say let's say design approval or review so if i click on create so this subtask gets created is scrum 27 right so this is what the usage is of this particular uh listing view and another important thing is so we can also create an issue from here as well let's say we want to create a epic so i can create an epic let's say this is a new epic is reports so if i simply click on this one so the new epic gets created and now if i want like a user story under it i, I can click on the plus sign and uh, another part is uh, we can also short uh, this particular view i mean we can click on this arrow so if I click on this one right now, it is sorted in the reverse manner. But I mean, let's say alphabetically, if we want to sort, we can see like the very first one is listed on the top. Then we have R and then we have U. And uh, in case if we want to share all the issues that has been created in our project to someone who doesn't have the access, so we can use the share feature. Also, we can use the filter. Let's say we want to filter based on just show what all is contained in the active sprint so active sprint it will always be going to be one which is our sprint one so if we do that we can see that you know it is listing all the issues or all the items which are contained in the sprint one or we can say it is showing the sprint one backlog okay so if you want to remove it we can simply click on the clear so that way it is going to show the all the things which are available in the project so basically on the basis of uh, if you want to kind of like search for a specific thing if you want to search for a specific sprints related items we can utilize this one also we can uh, we can do the grouping so we can say hey uh, show me the grouping of this listing as per the sprints 
So it is going to show uh, what all is contained in our project uh, by grouping them, by grouping the issues in by using the sprints, right? So we have three sprints created, sprint one, sprint two, and sprint three, and then we have a backlog. And if you want to clear, we can you know clear this one. So this is how we can utilize uh, this particular view. We can also apply grouping by assignee, grouping by priority, or if, let's say if we want to try it on like grouping by the story points. So this will give a, a snapshot of you know uh, how many uh, issues are there which are listed as two points, how many issues are there which are listed as three points or five points, or those kind of a thing. So that was kind of a brief about this particular view and uh, I will come up uh, with another video if I you know came across you know some interesting thing about this particular view and how it can be utilized but I mean the whole purpose is you know we get a list of all the issues contained in a project we can apply different filters we can do the grouping and we can also share this particular view uh, with our team members as well. So that's all about today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you are new to this channel, kindly share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video.